Yo, yo, my fucking thoughts, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we pretty much did everything we could in the sky, and today we are going to be going to the next, um, surface area. My surface area. Not the math kind, uh, because I can show up. This is a goddess chest that we can't actually get to, but that's how you, that's how we will get it once it's activated. And I guess something I didn't mention in the last, um, part is that, uh, you may remember that I got, uh, that I hit five of the, um, goddess cubes in the, um, Elden surface, but I only picked up three. That's because I believe the other two are unavailable. Like, I found one of them in the, um, there's one of them in Skyloft that I can't get to yet, and then I believe one of them is in a part of the sky that is currently inaccessible. So, yeah, I guess we can't get those two just yet, but oh well, we'll, we'll get them eventually. So anyways, come over here, as you can see, a little looks deserty, and yeah, uh, we get our little cutscene. We don't get to choose where we're going to be, where we're going to land since we've never come here before. And as mentioned before, this is, um, well, I guess it'll show off what it is as soon as Fee starts talking and starts saying some stuff. I'll have that Lanayru mine. So this whole area is called Lanayru, just like how the other one is Elden, the volcano one is Elden, then the... Um, forest one is just Farron, but this specific part is called the Lanayru Mine. And as said before, Lanayru as a whole is without a doubt like my favorite Zelda area, like overall area, like out of any like section in, in a Zelda game. And you'll see why pretty soon. Like I just think like it is, it's a ridiculous how well designed it really is, and like what the main mechanic is. It's pretty awesome. So, anyways, um, that's the little section on the map. And Zelda must have traveled through this area. I'm pretty sure Zelda just warped with, um, black, um, clothed lady from before. Anyway, let's douse and see if Fee is right, which, um, she is. So, anyways, first of all, I just, I just really love the, um, just sort of, like, architecture of everything. I mean, look, you get, like, a lot of, like, stone stuff. It definitely looks like it's, basically, the whole idea behind it is that it's, it's basically a place that's in, like, severe disrepair, you know, like, everything, like, it's a place that looks like it was, like, a, you know, like, a bustling area at one point, but now everything is just sort of, like, you know, ancient and uh, sort of, like, industrial, like, here we have, like, this sort of, like, robotic thing that, um, like, you can sort of talk to, but it's, can't really do anything because it's, yeah, it's been broken for many years, so it's pretty cool, and... Yeah, so what we can do is we can get some bombs. Um, yeah, right now we're at 10 bombs, so that's pretty cool. We can, like, break some of these things. I don't think know if there's anything actually in here that is worth it, but, um, let's see. Um, what did I get? Just, like, a, um, okay, that buzzing noise is really loud. That's from a bug that I'll grab in a little bit, but anyway, first thing we're going to do is we can obviously hit this, um, goddess chest and, I mean, goddess cube, and we'll see if we can even get that, um, chest once we reach it. Anyway, I'm um, over here. Um, there are some new types of bugs, which I think these are th I think these are like one of the hardest bugs to catch if I remember. You sort of have to like go slowly, slowly and gotcha! I actually got both of them. Is that the um yeah, sand cicadas. These are actually like the last bug that I was ever... Yeah, see, no bug is harder to catch. So I am actually amazed that I was able to do that so well. Like, first of all, these bugs are just really rare in my opinion. I mean... I've only caught four types of bugs, so it's sort of funny how they're not really that rare. And, but yeah, they're, those are like the last bugs that I was that I actually found my first time playing it. So you can just break these rocks, get some rupees. Up there, you may notice that there's a chest. Um, we can't get to that area just yet. We, we won't be able to get here until the next time we um, head to um, Lanayru. So just in case anyone's wondering, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying these things because the first time I played, I saw that chest and I'm like, how do I get there? I like tried to jump off like the top of this tower and it didn't work. Uh, anyway, here, I don't think I've actually gotten to the bird statue yet. So um, I'll just, you don't, I believe you don't actually have to um save it. I think you just have to like go up to it and then just go cancel. And I think that'll work. I'm not totally sure if it doesn't, then I'll be sad. I think you just have to like, um, interact with it. Anyways, here we're just sort of coming down, like, through... Like, they said it's a mine. It's clearly a mine that's sort of, like, in disrepair. And that's basically the whole idea behind it, and I think I've already said that, but whatever. And what is here? Um, these are, like, mine carts. Uh, 
I think this one we have to push. You can push them and then you can also stand on them, which will bring you a little bit higher, obviously. Anyway, Link is just pushing and obviously draining a little bit of stamina. And you basically have to push it down here because um, that's basically how you have to get back up. Uh, you don't have to get, like, to get up here, no, like to get to the um, other side. Anyway, here's a new type of chew. These are the electric types. That's why I don't have the um, iron chew. I just realized I never actually re-equipped my shield. But that's like why I um, have the wooden shield because... Um, those elect like if you um, use like your shield if you don't sh like if you shield bash you're fine it, w it doesn't do any damage and if it's if you like shield bash with like the wooden shield against a fire on me it won't do anything but if you just hold your shield up it'll break immediately so that's the same thing like those electric ones if you just like use your shield in general um against those electric type enemies it will break it instantly so you and obviously don't want to do that um I'm not really sure what you actually, oh, actually, actually, I know what you have to do with this. You have to, okay, we got a, another jelly bomb. Like, as I said, this is by far the um, best one I've ever had in terms of just treasure jobs. Like, I'm pretty sure at this point, my first time, I didn't have any um, of the, I think they're called gooey blobs. And I've already gotten four of them. So anyway, I'm just blowing this up because why not? In, under, you actually have to blow up some of these, not these ones just yet, but um, what we're going to do is we're just going to push this a little bit further, and I will show you why it'll, like, you ha you have to do this to progress, and I'll explain why in the next room, which is basically where this area gets really, really cool. Um, this is, okay, that's as far as you can go. So you get into this area, which is like sort of an open area, and you see this thing, and you're probably wondering what it does, and it is pretty cool and this is why I consider this area to be the coolest section so keep in mind this is all like the present day you know everything is run down this place was probably pretty good a long time ago but now it's completely ruined hit the switch and wait for it wait for it and returns color which is pretty cool it zips up and it does this so basically these things are called time shift stones and basically when you activate it a like certain area surrounding it will basically return to the state it was some amount of time ago. I'm not sure how long ago it was. I don't know, a hundred years, a thousand years, a million years, maybe. Who knows? I don't know how the Zelda timeline works. Maybe everything in Zelda takes place way after like present day of what's going on, and this is like the future of us, but like the past for the. I don't know how it works. Anyway, all I'm gonna say is uh, basically. Now, so whenever you hit this switch, it'll basically return it to the time in the past when everything was operational. So now you see like these robots. You remember seeing that like one from in the beginning that was like completely broken down. And here, um, they're like completely operational. So it's pretty cool. Like as I said, this is why I, me and many other people can see this to be so cool. Oh no, yeah, disruption, feel the surrounding area. Yeah, past times, so they already explained that. Um, so what can we do here? So now, obviously, um, we can get like a bunch of money. Um, this right here, this is a, another type of treasure called the Ancient Flower. This is actually, this treasure you actually need to, you need to get one of these treasures to beat the game. It's the only type of treasure required to beat the game, and you only need one. So um, grab that right there, and now you are set. Anyway, you can get like some rupees from up there, but I'm not gonna bother. I just, sort of, I just sort of like walking around this area. I mean, I know it's an LP, so I sort of have to go fast. I mean, I don't have to go fast. It's not a speedrun, but I sort of have to like progress. But honestly, I just like looking around here. I mean, look at this. We got um, we got Mr. Wolverine claws over here. Look at him. It looks like he could like kill me with just one of those claws. And but but all these roads are kind of rude. They just sort of, I guess they're just programmed to be like purely for work, so they don't really like leisuring around. Anyways, um, okay, one of these doors we have to go through. One of them is just for, um, a, um, one of them is, like, optional, so I want to check my map really quickly, and, okay, so, that one right there is, like, a dead end, so, um, wait, is it right here? Yeah, okay, so, um, I will, I will, uh, go this way first. So, anyway, once you get into, like, these mine cards, this is, like, these are like the future minecarts, the ones, I mean the past minecarts, it's sort of hard to explain because the past is the one that's like all futuristic and technological while the present is like, is like the ancient one. It's really, like honestly it's really cool when you think about it and like, you know, maybe it would have made more sense if they like made them like go to the future but then at the same time then it wouldn't really make as much sense and I guess you wouldn't be able to like see all of like the 
um, disrepair in the present. Anyways, um, that's just for a red rupee. Um, and as I said before, like, uh, you have to push this minecart. So once you push it into, I guess I'll show this off because, like, just so, like, to show, like, the difference between, like, the, um, okay, I guess, never, I guess you can't push it once it's in the, um, future area. Anyways, you have to push that into, like, the past area so it'll become, I don't know, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, confuse, like, what I say so many times just because of, like, just because, like, when you try and think about it. Anyways, um, one of these has a, another one of the, um, time shift stones, and I think it's this one, if I'm right, yep. So, okay, no, it wasn't that way, was it? Oh, okay, so it was the one next to it, and I blew them both up with my bomb. Okay, cool. So anyways, I mean, it looks like it's in, um, looks like it's in the, um, past, but that's because it's still using the, um, time shift stone from before, so we actually have to hit this one, and, um, whenever you hit one, I'm just gonna say it'll deactivate all of the other ones. So, um, the one that we hit beforehand is currently, um, isn't cur currently, like, active, but now this one is, so it'll light up a brand new area, and we've got some more, um, adamantium, like, robots over here. So, so those things are, like, basically like Wolverine, you know, with, like, the claws and stuff. And now that we've done that, we can, um, this thing will be in use, so we can actually uh, throw a bomb in there and blow it up, I guess. We'll, I guess we'll just give it the quick end as opposed to the... The, it stay in the past where it just sort of like broke apart. We'll just break it immediately. And anyway, um, this is like the end. And also, you may notice that the music becomes like a lot more like techno, like in the um past area. And then once you enter the um present area, it's all like more of like in ruined area. You know? Okay, get that thing off me before it electrocutes me. All right, we're good. So now um there are no more um of those stones for a while. So we just have to deal with the sand. The sand um isn't wouldn't be there in the um past it's um this is all just grass and it's honestly as i said it's it's really a cool concept that i just it's really cool when you like start to think about it i mean it's sort of confusing because the past is when you go to the past that's when it's all technological and in the and in the present is when it's all broken down but yeah it's still cool nonetheless um I guess something to say about these things, you only want to attack them. Okay, I accidentally hit it on accident, but you only want to attack them when they're not all um, electrical because if not, they will shock you because, um, as I said before, metal is a conductor and I'm pretty sure that's what Link's sword is made out of. It might be made out of something else, but I'd say metal is the most likely choice. Uh, now we just have to like throw these things. You do have to do this because you can't... Um, I guess I can. I guess I can show this up. Whenever you're in the sand, you have to um be running through it, or else you will um sink in like the quicksand. Uh, it's not really. I guess it's sort of more realistic quicksand in the sense that you don't just die instantly when you step it. That's something I don't really understand in a lot of games like Mario 64 or Galaxy. Like, why is the quicksand so like instant kill? I mean, in real life, it's more like this in the sense that it just sort of slowly brings you down and just sort of like drains you, and then like. I mean, it's still lethal if you, like, stay in for long enough, but it won't just destroy you. It'll, you have, like, a chance to get out. But anyways, um, yeah. So whenever you're, like, in them, you have to, like, basically be running to get out. But obviously, okay, um, okay, oh, you, you, yo, you're getting the bomb. Can I grab my bomb, please? Thank you. So this is, like, I think these things are called, like, spumes or something. And, yeah, there are a lot of types, so this is the, like, electrical type. I mean, you had, like, the, um... We had, like, lava ones in the other temple. I'm gonna grab this heart because why not? I need full health where I'm going. And, yeah, so whenever you're in this, you have to be pressing A to run, but that'll obviously run your... S okay, I think I just died. Yep, I died because of that electric. That electric spume, I think, just ruined me. So, um, time to get my revenge. Um, I guess I'm gonna serpentine this time, I guess. All right, we made it, um... Okay, that is not, I, th I thought I still had my, um, oh, okay, that was bad. Okay, get up, get up, Link, you're not dead yet, um, grab your bomb, throw it. I have to, I need, like, a, I need some more bombs. Where'd they all go? Oh, yeah, I, I spent them, I just realized I spent them all on, okay, um, I'm dead. Uh, if you die by this, it doesn't actually give you damage, just sort of, like, the fall damage. Um, I'm not actually sure if I ever showed this off. In the um, last, no, I no, I did. I fell in the lava a few times, but yeah, lava does do damage. But um, drowning in the quicksand does not, which I'm not really, I don't really understand why. But okay, uh, and I'm seriously running low on um, 
the bomb, so hopefully I can get some pretty soon. We grab this heart because why not? I think that there are some, there might be some bombs over here. Let me check. Okay, can I like actually make that? Oh wow, I barely made it. Are we are there. That's what happens if Link runs out of stamina. By the way, he just goes like super. Okay, you just get um, he get he gets like super like fatigued and you can't really do anything for a while. So you really don't want to let that happen to you. So that's why you have to be really careful here. Uh, Alright, so you just want to come like this. Um, grab the stamina fruit. Uh, come over here. There really no more. Okay, I think that there are bombs in the like next area. Or at least we're at full health now. That tre treasure chest we will be getting too soon in case you were wondering. I'm just like saying these things because I don't know, somebody who hasn't played the game and might be like seeing chests and like hidden ledges and stuff probably would be wondering like what they do. So I'm just trying to like point them out. Okay. Okay, don't hit him now. Hit him now. Okay. Okay, um, that was bad. Spin attack to kill them both. Okay, now they're both dead. And now we've got another chest. Uh, another, um, one of those mine cards. Uh, I'll actually push it into after I've activated the, um, after I've activated the, um, time shift stone this time just so you can see the difference. But anyways, we have some, um, bats. Uh, let's, we have to break this because obviously the mine card has to get through right. And bomb takes a while to explode, doesn't it? And it is gone. I'll break this open because why not? And we finally get our bomb refill over here. Oh, and we'll and we are at full bomb capacity now. So basically, what you have to do, and this actually took me a while to figure out, also just because um, as I said before, I wasn't the best at rolling bombs. But you basically have to roll the bombs across the sand. You have to blow up this one, and now the next one we actually have to roll, um, all the way across. And like this is sort of like I guess it's I mean it's not the hardest thing to figure out, but I mean you sort I mean most Zelda games wouldn't have you do this. Is basically what I'm saying. You wouldn't like generally have to like. Okay, wait, what? Did I like... Oh, I, I was... I actually was... I was wondering why I couldn't, like, put this bomb in. It's because I ha I was at full bomb capacity. And anyway, now that we've... As I said, um, the... One of the rocks over here contained the next time shift stone. So now we just have to fly our beetle over here and activate that. And now this whole area is now in the past. So it's all, like, lively and green. So now we can come over this direction. We couldn't do this before because, um... If you remember, it was all like sandy, and um, you would not have had enough stamina to get through it. Okay, can I like hit him? Okay, I'm always I'm like I hit the like wrong direction every single time. Uh, there we go. Now he's dead. And we get another um ancient flower. Um, I mean obviously I you only need one technically, but I'm tr gonna try and get some more. We can get another bug here. Um, these things aren't as hard to catch. I mean they shouldn't be, but I'm just not very good. Okay, there he is. Get back over here. Did I get it? Okay. First step, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, first thing, let's get rid of the bug net. Um, uh, he's dead, finally. And if you come all the way through, this is that um treasure chest from, from before that we can um, open. I think it has some sort of rare treasure. Yep, another blue bird feather. I feel like I get these like every single time from the... Okay, I guess I only have one other one, so maybe not as often. Um, while Link, you are a great jumper. I guess it doesn't matter since all of this area is now in the past, so it's nice and, um, you can't sink in it. So yeah, it's pretty cool, like, the contrast, and I guess that's what, like, Nintendo was going for, just, like, an area that has, that had, like, a huge contrast, and I think they did a pretty cool job. So anyway, like, here you can see, um, you can see, like, the difference. I mean, here, this thing is, like, all old, and you can't, like, do anything with it, but once you've, like, pushed it into the um, futuristic area it basically um it like gets all colored and it basically gets all powered up so I'm gonna go in there in a second but um first things first I wanna I wanna get that like bug just cause like as I said I'm trying to um get like all of the um like all everything in that like section like I wanna get all of like the treasures and all of the bugs just so I can show them all off and um I think that that bug disappeared actually which is Kind of sad, but oh well. Alright, well that bug is a wall, so I guess we'll just continue on. Whatever, I'll have other chances. Anyway, here we can get into our little car. We can spin around because Link likes getting dizzy for some reason. And basically you have to do that. And now we are outside. And this is going to be the... I think there's going to be like one of those like cutscenes where it says like... 
you know, you got like another like area of the map is activated. And now we are like, this this area is called Lanayru Desert. I'll just say that and it'll probably update on the map very soon. And feel say some stuff. Yep, Lanayru Desert has changed dramatically. So I guess this area experienced desertification, which is actually pretty interesting since this is something that's going around in like the world today where a lot of like once you know like luscious um very life like very green areas with like you know like with trees and stuff have like been gradually like um just just drying up and like desertifying like that's all like with the sahara desert uh if you don't know the sahara desert is actually like growing in size every year as like more and more areas like desertify and like a lot of like life just dies and things just like dry up as a result of like lack of water and stuff so it's kind of interesting that Nintendo talked about it here with the um idea that like this whole area is an area that like at one point was very lively and um had a lot of like plant life and animal life but now has just sort of like all dried up and now it's just like a big desert which is pretty interesting something else that is interesting is i'm not sure if fee actually mentioned that someone her really long um explanation but like so it's somewhere i like read that like the reason that it dried up was because like this whole area was like um like these like robots and stuff was like used for mining and over here that's where the next time shift stone is you need this in case you ever want to go back basically because like if you turn off the game it'll deactivate all time shift stones and this is how you get back in but anyways basically um like i read that like the reason it dried up was because like the um like i don't know some sort of civilization came and basically like used up all of, like the area's resources and stuff like it tried to like mine for like these time shift stones and basically that put like so much pressure on the area that it basically um basically just dried up and stuff now obviously this is a video game and it didn't actually happen in real life, but that's sort of interesting because that's actually some sort of like something that people are like worrying about in real life in the sense that um basically um, a lot of like natural resources and stuff are being used up and like what like what effect that's having on the world like you know like basically yeah it's sort of interesting how it has some environmental messages or so i'm not sure if that's what nintendo was going for but that's just uh, what i took out of it anyways i'm just i'm probably gonna like stop playing in a little bit that'll be probably be enough for the episode but i figured i'll come over here first because why not anyway over here um there's this thingy um remember where this is we i, I actually haven't gone to the place where you normally would have seen it earlier but whatever i'll just show it off now i believe we could there's somewhere over here we can drop down yep all right right over here okay wow i barely i almost just died or i wouldn't have died I just would have taken i actually wouldn't have taken any damage and i probably would have spawned right where i was and we got another goddess p plume so that's our second one that's pretty interesting like as i this is like by far the most i've i keep saying this that's by far the most like treasures and stuff i have ever had and, like i guess i could have just dropped down here and then ran through but whatever and then we have the only way to get to this area is from like is from like way out there so i figured i should do it now so i wouldn't have to climb up again um i believe that is a bug over there so i figured i'll grab i think this is a new type right yeah a lanero ant makes sense since it's a lanero it's probably the only place in the game where you can get them actually there, there are like places in the sky that have every type of bug i'll just say that right now specifically an island that we'll be going to eventually but yeah um that's probably gonna be it for today okay this guy i can just shield bash and kill him these things are called like ampelons or something I, I can just be using like i can just like talk to fee and like lock onto with fee and they'll tell you the um names of all of these enemies but whatever anyways i'm just gonna like go back to the bird statue that i like was that we like uh talk to over here and i will just end it right there because and then next time we will um continue onwards in this area and do some stuff as i said before this area is like or i guess like the stuff that you have to do um before the dungeon in like in this area is a lot more than either the two previous areas so i'm predicting probably two more episodes of like 
overworld stuff before the dungeon. Either two or three. I think three is probably stretching. It'll probably be like two sort of longer episodes, maybe. I'm not totally sure. Anyways, yeah. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.